So now let's do some practice of Soka Toa or some people have curly brown hairs through proper brushing. So we have this triangle. In this triangle we know this length of this side is 4. A length of hypotenuse is 5. And this angle is 90 degree angle. And our goal is to find uh, sine theta is equals to question mark. We also have to find cos theta and we also have to find tan theta. So uh, now I'm going to use the Asian way because for me that's more convenient because I'm also from Asia. So some people have. So it's going to be some people have. And because and now in this case I have to careful that what is perpendicular and what is base because if I switch perpendicular with a base everything will change. So because this is my theta, this is my theta, so this is going to be my base because base is the uh, side which has both theta and anti-degree angle. So this is my base and the side opposite to theta is perpendicular. So this is my perpendicular or oh, this is opposite side in Soka to notation. So now I have to find uh, sine is perpendicular over hypotenuse, so it's going to be, I don't know what is perpendicular, but I know that hypotenuse is 5, so I know hypotenuse is 5. But to find sine theta, I also need to find perpendicular. So how can we find perpendicular? By using the Pythagoras theorem. Yes. So we know that this side is uh, 5, this is 4, we can find perpendicular by using Pythagoras theorem, which is, uh, you know, hypotenuse is equal to uh, perpendicular square plus base square and we know that hypotenuse is 5 so it is 5 square perpendicular is we don't know we, let's write it uh, perpendicular square plus base is 4 square so basically we have 25 which is 25 minus 16 is equals to perpendicular square so perpendicular square is going to be 25 minus 16 is 9 is equals to uh, because uh, so we will take square, square root both sides so this will become p perpendicular and this will become what square root of 9 is going to be 3, three. so that means we have perpendicular is equals to 3 and now we can find our sine theta sine theta is 3 over 5 which is equals to what uh, 0.6 so it's equals to uh, 0.6. So we're done with uh, one part of the question. Second part we have to find cos theta. So cos theta is equal to curly brown hairs. So it's going to be uh, B over H or base over hypotenuse. So our base is 4. We have established that our base will be 4 and hy our hypotenuse is 5. So what is 4 over 5? Uh, 0.8. 0.8. And finally, our tan, we can use like uh, till uh, through proper brushing. So uh, through proper brushing with perpendicular per hypotenuse. But we can also use uh, sine divided by uh, cos because tan is equal to sine theta divided by cos theta. That will be easier maybe. So I say uh, sine theta divided by cos theta, which is equal to 6 over 8. What is 6 over 8 is? Uh, 0.75. It's 0 0.75, 0 0.75. So we have our answers. And we're done with the first example, but we have to do few more examples to make our concepts crystal clear. So let me clear the board. So in this second example, we know that this angle is 90 degree angle, and this angle is 29 degree angle. And uh, this side, which is hypotenuse, because it is opposite to the 90 degree angle, is has length 8, maybe 8 centimeter or 8 uh, inches and this side uh, length is y and we have to find y and this side length is x we have to find x. So our goal of this example is to find x and y. So we can use maybe we just write first of all that uh, all the uh, all of our um, uh, formulas we know that one formula is uh, sign uh, some people have so some people have second formula is curly brown hairs and third formula is through proper brushing. So we have all of our formulas of sine, cosine and tan and now 
uh, for sine. Now, if we, if we, first we have to establish what is perpendicular and what is hypotenuse and what is uh, base. And we know because this is opposite to 90, so this is hypotenuse. So we know our hypotenuse is 8. And because we have two angles here that we are interested in, then that's why this is going to be our base. Right? So this is going to be our base. So y is our base. And the rem one remaining side must be perpendicular because this is the only option left anyway. So now we have to find, we can use this formula to find perpendicular because we know uh, this and these both of those quantities. So we know that uh, basically because in this case maybe it's good to write the whole thing, whole shebang. So we, maybe we should write sine theta because then we can put the value of theta instead of s here. right? And we write here cos theta instead of only cos here. So cos theta. And here obviously tan theta because we have to use the value of theta. And theta in this case is going to be 29 degrees. So now let's use this formula to find perpendicular because this quantity we can find out because we know theta. And with the, with the calculator we can say that what is sine 29 we can find out. And we have a helper here we can, who has the calculator. And this quantity we have to, we don't know, we have to find. And this we already know that is 8. So now we say that sine 29 degrees is equals to uh, perpendicular, which we don't know, divided by what? 8. So we just solve this equation. We say P perpendicular is equals to, we we'll take 8 here. So 8 times sine 29 degrees and 8 times what is sine 29 is? Sine 29 is 0 0.484. So 0.485. And what is 8 times 0 0.485? 3.88. What's the question is? How do we, how do we get that 0 0.8? Zero so it's, it's, it's just like the it's just, just like we we have made protector. And in the protector, we have all, have all the angles, right? Similarly, we know that uh, uh, that f uh, sine 29 it means it's a, it's a ratio, and that ratio remains the same if how uh, uh, big or small the element uh, the triangle is. So we have calculated all the ratios. Sine 29 is going to be equals to some ratio of uh, perpendicular or some ratio of hypotenuse, and we have calculated all those ratios and. Uh, put those ratios in our calculator. In this case is 3.88 over 8. So it's basically 3.88 over 8 something. What if you wanted to do it without a calculator? How will you do it then? So without a calculator, I don't know how to find sine theta. Some people are very good. They remember most of the numbers, which I don't know. And is sine cos and tan different? Like uh, sine 29 is equal to 0.485 then cos. What you then think from here? Is there the same? No, I mean like uh, sine... Obviously they are different. They are different yeah. ratios. So they, they, they must be different from each other. Oh, now I get it. Okay. okay. So now we have to do the same thing with the second part. In the second part, we have, we know now uh, what is P and P is for this example is equals to uh, 3.88. Now, uh, we're going to use this one, we're going to use this one to find uh, what? We're going to use this, because we know hypotenuse, we can find, find base using the, this formula. So, now we say cos 29 degrees is equals to a base, which we don't know, which is y or but we just write base here, maybe not y at the moment, uh, divided by hypotenuse, which is 8. Right? So basically, base is equal to 8 times cos 29. And as you have, uh, as we know that cos 29 is not going to equal to uh, sine 29. Right? So, what's cos 29 is? Cos 29 is 0.875. 0.875. And what is 8 times 0 0.875 is? That is 6.7. Uh, this 7. 6.7? 7? No, just 7. Okay, just 6.99. Or 6.9. No, we write it 6.99 maybe. So that means this is going to be uh, is equals to 
not question mark but equals to 6.99 and we have found all our answers for this question so let me clear the board and then we do some more examples because i know that concepts are not clear yet right so let me clear the board so let's do our last example in this example uh, i have this right angle triangle and this is my 90 degree angle and i have uh, uh, i'm given one side which is 6 and one one angle which is theta basically is, is equals to 31 and i have to find x now let's first establish what will be our base what will be our hypotenuse and what will be, what will be perpendicular so because uh, opposite to 90 degree angle is this side so this is going to be our hypotenuse right this is going to be our hypotenuse and because if this is our theta if we can choose our theta we can say this is our theta or this is our theta we can choose our theta right if, if we choose this our theta then this will become our base if we choose this our theta then this will become our base we can choose it and how can we find let's say i don't want to choose this 31 right I want to choose this one just for a sake of fun, right? So I say this is my th theta. Uh, but first, I have to know the theta because then I can use theta, right? But the good thing is that in triangles, there is one rule that sum of all the angles is equals to 180. So that means 90. I don't know this angle. I don't. This angle is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what theta is. So I say 90. I know this is 90. Plus 31. Plus 31. Plus theta which is unknown to me at the moment will be equals to 180 so that means theta is going to be 180 minus 90 180 minus 90 is equals to 90 by the way uh, minus 31 so it's like 90 minus 31 which is going to be equals to uh, 9 and eh, what 59. 59 so let's do this example not with this angle I can do this uh, this question with this uh, theta also but just for the sake of fun we're going to use this angle here right so 59 so now uh, what going to be my base my because this is theta and this is 90 this is the angle that I'm considering in this question so my base is going to be this side Right? So that means 6 is going to be my base given for given this theta. If theta would have been this angle then my base would be this side. And similarly the side opposite to theta is my opposite side or this uh, uh, perpendicular side. So this is my perpendicular. So I know that just write those formulas. I have formula sine theta which is some people have so perpendicular upon uh, hypotenuse and I have my formula cos theta which is like curly brown hair so base upon uh, hypotenuse and then I have my through proper brushing so tan theta is equals to uh, perpendicular upon base so because I have to find hypotenuse so I can't use this formula because this formula has no hypotenuse so this will not be useful for me I can use this formula and this formula right now I have to decide which formula I can use uh, can I use this formula because in this formula P is unknown and H is also unknown so we have two unknowns in this formula I can use I must use a formula which has one unknown right so this formula I know this one because I know theta it will be just uh, sine, uh, sine 59 and our uh, calculator guy will find us find for us what is sine 59 right and but I don't know what is perpendicular and I don't know what is hypotenuse so because this formula has two unknowns so I can't use this formula right so I can use let's say I can use this formula I know what is cos 59 is because uh, because my calculator guy is going to find my uh, cos 59 for me so I know this one I know base and because I know these two quantities, I can find this missing one. So I can find this one. I can find it. Yes. So in this question, I'm going to use this formula. Make sense? Yes. So I'm going to use this formula. So now, what is cos? Uh, wait, wait a second. First, maybe write this formula in the uh, right form. So I will say cos 
59 is equals to uh, base and base is 6 uh, base is 6 divided by hypotenuse okay. so hypotenuse is equals to x basically I just write x or maybe h is fine but when I am writing h that means x so x is I am just finding x so hypotenuse is going to be uh, because uh, it's going to be 6 over cos uh, 59 degrees I am just have taken this here and this here you can do the, these kind of stuff in mathematics and so hypotenuse is equal to what is 6 over what is cos 59 cos 59 is 0 0.515 0 0.515 and what is 6 over 0.515 0.09. So, it is going to be equals to 3.09. That is our answer. So, I hope that with this, it is wrong? I added 6 times 0 0.5. Oh, so it is wrong? Yes. So, what is the right answer then? 11.6. Right answer is 11.6. I hope that this time it will be right. Yes, yes. Otherwise, please write it in the comments so, can, so that I can fix my calculator guy properly. So, I hope that uh, with these three examples, you will be able to understand how Sokatoa works or how sine, cos and tan we can find and how through, uh, some people have curly brown hair through brushing works. Uh, so, see you next time.